It's June 2014 and the Soccer World Cup is being played in Brazil. Switzerland made it too through the selection games only because 95% of its players are Albanians, Yugoslavs, Turks, South Americans, Africans and other immigrants. As the Swiss themselves can't play any football. Because the Swiss national sports are conspiracy, money making, corruption, Nazi banking, big theft, racism and plain hatred. And it's therefore that the International Soccer Federation or FIFA was founded in, yes, Switzerland again, as always, where all the world's NGOs are, are concerning all mankind's concerns and interests so octogon can steer and control it all so this is in wikipedia so here we can read it they were founded in 1904 the headquarters is in zurich switzerland and uh, the president is zepp blatter a swiss it's all swiss and the logo is to the two circles of the Vesica Pitches and the sun here. All Freemason stuff. And it's always Swiss. Always. Ever. All the NGOs, it's all Swiss. This is where the, um, the shadow government is. This is where they rule the world. Well, Octogon killed him before they, uh, he could expose this plot. And the same thing happened with this guy here as well. He didn't make it. He was killed by Octogon. And he even admits it that he was on the pay list of Octogon and Swiss America trading. So he had problems with his conscience. Um, you know, first they come and like offer money when they see that uh, somebody has a big voice, uh, a influential voice, and um, so and then they offered him money, paying his show, what he says as well, and um, then they sque squeeze him into more and more uh, things to do, and which he finally stopped. So they killed him. The Hour of the Time, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by Swiss America Trading. They specialize in non-confiscatable, non-reportable hard assets, real money as described in the Constitution for the United States of America and in the law. So believe me, the Swiss have their dirty little fingers in everything. Even Bill Cooper, even Alex Jones with his logo and always saying Switzerland is so good and everything. Um, in spite of the fact they robbed the US blind, the Swiss did, and they, um, they pleaded guilty of conspiracy. Well, they did 9-11, there's no doubt about it. Only Octagon can do this. And even Bill Cooper was on their pay list. You get it? Call Swiss America Trading, 1-800-289-2646. That's 1-800-BUY-COIN. Well, he says it himself. They paid his show. This is what the Mafia does. You know, first they come and give you something, and then they want a whole lot back. Didn't they, Bill? Well, there they are. They even have a YouTube channel, Swiss America Trading. And they have a website. So these are the guys. There's the website uh, with whom Bill Cooper went to bed with. And before he knew what was happening, they were asking um, many favors of him and forced him to do things. First they give you money and, and help you, and then they ask more and more and more. And if you won't do it, as Bill Cooper certainly didn't do that, well, then you're dead. And there shouldn't be any more doubt that the shadow government or world government is an octagon of the Alps. Everything is in 
or was founded in and comes from Switzerland with all the Geneva NGOs like the World Trade Organization, the ICRC, Red Cross, the Olympic Committee, the IOC, the United Nations, the Templars Banks, the Eurovision Frankenstein Conchita thing, World War II, the Nazi Red Line, Swiss mercenaries, the burning of witches and the Malleus Maleficarum written by the Swiss, Octagon Police, the, uh, the Ku Klux Klan, the Pope's Guard, some US presidents, etc, 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 and much more. So the FIFA the the the, um, the, Feder the international federation of the of the football association was founded in switzerland in 1904 and is based in zurich where the main central head office the, their headquarters is and where i shot this footage in 2013. fifa this is the world soccer organization in zurich what are they so afraid of? Look at that. Everything is closed. I thought I thought soccer was for fun. Oh no, it's big business. No, it's politics. It is. The president of that octagon FIFA is of course yes, the Swiss. And he has been so for the last 20 years with enormous corruption, fraud and financial crime around our game in the hands of Octogon and the Swiss. The Swiss financial crime around the FIFA and our game in the hands of the Swiss are so bad that last week the English law treesman compared the FIFA with the Mafia and Sepp Blatter, it's Don Carleone. A statement backed up by David Gill, Greg Dyke and other high-ranking officials. Well, you can read the whole, the whole article. I'll put in the links for you. Oh, just sponge pause, eh? So Swissy Zeb Blatter immediately called everyone a racist who dared to criticise him. Him, Blatter. A neutral, innocent and clean Swiss from Octagon and a country that financed Hitler and the Nazis and where racism fills the Swiss hearts in Switzerland, the most racist country in the world and against which Mr. Swiss FIFA president would never say a single word. Therefore, it's no wonder that this country where they can't play soccer has given our game to another country where they don't play soccer either. And where it's even too hot to think about soccer, let alone playing it. Yes, Qatar in 2022. And Octagon even prepared the octagonal Octagon logo for them with a pentagram in the middle. And Qatar lies in the Arabian desert where Northern European sportsmen are supposed to participate and compete a world tournament in a place so hot that it feels like having your girlfriend's hair dryer right in your face the whole day. Not that those fancy millionaire soccer players and their fancy thousand dollar playboy hairstyles are not acquainted with their girlfriend's hair dryers, but nevertheless... So why the hell play soccer in the Arabian desert like Lawrence of Arabia, where the local pharaohs only know a football is round because they saw it on TV while chewing cat, as in the very name of cat ah, Qatar? Well, I tell you why. Because since 2008, when the IRS and the US Justice Department started to build up pressure on the Swiss Nazi banks, a financial shift from Switzerland to Qatar and the rest of the Arab Emirates started to take place. 
where Qatar paved the way for Swiss banksters to install and perpetuate their financial crime on several conditions. You do that for, you do that for me and I will do this for you. Concerning the World Champ Soccer Championship, eh? So, you can read the whole story here, just punch pause. Ah, oh, there they are again. Bill Cooper, Swiss America trading. Well, Bill Cooper, he had no idea whatsoever with whom he was uh, uh, having contact with. And, and what kind of a danger he was getting into. Look, there they are again, Swiss America. Well, they're all over. You know, well, they did, Mr. Bill Cooper, because he refused to do what they asked him to do. You see, this is from Finance Asia. This is what I'm telling you. 2008, then the whole thing started, and they saw it coming. Then it started with the IRS and the U.S. Justice Department, and... Um, Later on, the Snowden affair, it was all about the Swiss banks. So what they do, they just shift it to Qatar. But Qatar, you know, the Qataris, they want something back as well. So you do that for me and I'll do this for you. But we want the World Soccer Championship having in our hair dryer um, Arabian desert. And this is what's going on. And there's no mainstream media whatsoever who are telling you anything about this. Yeah. So I hear some more about it. In 2008, when it all started, that was the, uh, that was the big banking collapse, wasn't it? Wasn't it 2008? <laughs> I think it was, eh? So this is one of the Swiss, seven Swiss presidents. And I talked to her once. And it was just a few minutes, or maybe 20 minutes after a Swiss guy, he jumped off a bridge in Switzerland. Well, I, I, I never heard a noise like that before. It, it, it sounded like two cars smashing upon each other, like a collision. Metallic. So, this is what's going on, eh? Now, this is 2009. So here's some more. The Swiss bank rushes to Qatar. So the Swiss banks, they're getting a, a license for Qatar at the very same time. This, the, um, it's been announced and agreed upon, you know, by Octogon, that our soccer game are going to place, going to be done like in the, in the Arabian desert, like, you know. It has nothing to do with soccer. It's all financial crime and corruption in Switzerland. It's just about big business, big filthy business and a bunch of lies. And it's thus how the Swiss FIFA and Mr. Blatter gave our game to the land of the hairdryers, which they themselves call an emirate because of the emirs ruling in them, which is a sort of a pharaoh with shopping malls showing huge pyramids and obelisks upon ent entry. So this is the Wafi City shopping mall in Dubai. Leaving no doubt that the ISIS jihadist group financed by Qatar, amongst others, gets financed through the trillion dollar business of our soccer madness addiction in the hands of Swiss FIFA, Octagon's 33rd degree mason, Sepp Blatter from Octagon, and the Swiss Nazi bank shifting their weight to Qatar on certain conditions. So behind the Qatar financing, I tell you, the Swiss Nazi banks are behind it all. And this is Templar stuff. Already in the Crusades, the Templars and the, uh, the Hashashin, where the word assassin is coming from, they were working already together in those days. So you think they ever stopped doing so? Oh yeah, and here's the realizers, by the way. Just as the SES dressing up as, as, as Arabs and killing people. And there are 13 stars. 
Now, it says Osiris was cut into 13 pieces because this is part of the Horus Matrix and Isis, her husband, was cut into 13 pieces and the 13th part was his phallus. Intelligence, technology, training. Well, see? This is the real Isis. So, if anyone from the NSA wants to know more, I can present you all the intel knowing the criminal knowing the criminal Swiss mind very well after 17 years of Swiss lies and organized Swiss terror. Oh, well, and leave your hair dryers in your holsters when you NSA boys come round visit me. So I tell you, behind the Qatar financing of uh, of the jihad and Sharia. The Swiss Nazi banks are behind it. Oh, you bet. And as in Switzerland, only money is important, the Swiss FIFA and their Swiss World Soccer President, Zepp Blatter, have absolutely no problem with it that the Emir Pharaohs of Qatar use slaves to build the stadiums for the 2022 World Cup Soccer Hairdryer Games. Qatar and the Swiss attract workers from Asian countries and then, upon arrival, confiscate the passports, don't send the promised wages to the overseas families, have built large guarded fences around the construction sites, provide, provide bad food and poor hygienic facilities with workers sleeping on dirty mattresses in a corner of the, of the construction site. All in all, leading to the deaths of at least 900 workers so far, and an estimated 4,000 work slaves will have, will have died for the Swiss World Soccer Games of 2022 of their Qatar business partners. Yeah, that was in the Guardian. It's all over. It's, I mean, it's, no, it's no secret anymore. Same thing over again as the Swiss. They are giving the orders to Qatar. They gave the same orders to the Nazis and the concentration camps and the workers. Same thing happening again. And it's the Swiss behind it again. The financing of it. Yeah, you can read, read that. 4,000 migrants migrant workers will be dead. Swiss Nazis, are, again, the Templar Nazis behind it. Just as they were behind the concentration camps and making big money out of it, you know, and taking it into their Swiss banks. Similarly, the Swiss and their FIFA ordered the cleansings of Rio de Janeiro poor people in the so-called favelas for the 2014 Soccer World Cup going on now. So here you can see the Swiss, Zepp Blatter, Don Corleone with his, uh, his mafia here, the Swiss mafia, and uh, making a big buck out of Brazil, and making poor people suffer both in Qatar, Brazil, and all over. As soon as Brazil won the World Cup host in 2006, the cleansing started with black-dressed SWAT terrorists sweeping the favelas and trained by Eric Prince's Blackwater, who we know now is not of Dutch descent but the extension of the lineage of centuries of Swiss mercs all over our beautiful planet, and Blackwater's name comes from the Swiss Schwarzwasser region of the Bear, as I've all, as I've all shown in my other f my other videos. So you can see some pictures. I put it in the links. See the Blackwater guys there. They're just shooting people for the FIFA, so the Swiss they can make a lot of money. The Swiss Nazis, yeah. Octagon. Same as in Qatar. Well, I put the link in your. 
underneath the video. It's disgusting, really. Well, they're having these uh, death squads as well. Must be a clean soccer festival, eh? FIFA, go home. FIFA, like mafia. They bulldozed people, people's homes and came with es, Escadrones de la Muerte, or death squads, just as Swiss Sperrison recently did in Guatemala. So here you can see Mr. Sepp Blatter in his bulldozer and destroying the houses in the favelas of the, of the poor people for his, uh, for his Swiss uh, Mafifa. When the FIFA wants a clean a Switzerland environment to attract more spectators, thus more money, then they'll get it. At the same time evicting poor people out of the favelas where they pay no rent for their shacks and thus are not dependent like in the Monsanto nature patenting uh, program. And this is the, uh, the, um, the logo of the FIFA which is of course the Freemason Vesica Peiches forming the oval here in the middle, like the two circles, just like the Olympic Committee and Gucci, Mastercard and the rest. It's, it's another Freemason Mafifa operation. You can read it, you know, that they are, this is, these are cleansings. They, the, the Swiss have people murdered for their, for their, their, their money game here. This is in Qatar. This is Octagon. And they did Bill Cooper as well, I tell you. And here's some more. There you see. Little boy crying. Brazil soccer and is saying things in Braz in in Portuguese. People probably don't have internet, you know. They just make drawings on the wall. They paint it on the walls. That's all they can do. So here's some information about the favelas and the, uh, the world soccer games. The favelas are from 1897 and older than the 1904 founded Swiss FIFA and therefore have more rights to exist than that Swiss all-powerful FIFA. They were built by Brazilian army war veterans and black slaves who called it favela after a jungle tree that makes you itch very badly, thus describing the terrible living conditions of poor people on the marge of society who just wanted to be free, live and breathe the life of freedom. Until the Swiss came round with their FIFA black water and suitcases full of money, a bait to pull out even more suitcases full of money. Yes, Swissy always crushed freedom with money. Nothing new really. Oh yeah, and with the mercenaries they crushed freedom, eh? So you can, you can read some of the history. 1897, that's older than the FIFA. The favelas were first created in 1897 in Rio de Janeiro by Brazilian veterans of the Canudos War, a Brazilian civil war. I'll put in the link for you. So here's some more in Wikipedia. Uh, they were built by soldiers and black slaves 
and here it says that uh, a favela is a skin irritating tree well etc so put in the links for you Now let's have a closer look at Zeb Blatter or Mr. Don Corleone of the FIFA Mafia and other arm of the conglomerate of the Swiss Mafia or of the Nazi Templars of Octagon, the world's biggest mafia and the world's shadow government. His name, Zepp, is a Swiss Alemannic name also found in southern Germany because of the Swiss mercenaries and their compatriots settling down all over southern Germany after the Thirty Year War ending 1648, meaning Zepp for Joseph. Just as the notorious Zepp Dietrich of southern Germany as well, and descendant of the Swiss mercenary lineage who studied at a hotel school in Zurich, Switzerland, just as Rudolf Hess studied in Zurich, where Hitler got invited and financed by the Swiss and the general Ulrich Wille, all in all leading to the fact why they all got along so well later on, when Zepp Dietrich became the second highest general and Obergruppenführer in the SS and commander of the notorious killer brigade within the SS called the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler. All because of the good old days in Zurich, Switzerland back then making lots of use, useful contacts. So here we can read the whole article where he was Hitler's driver, you know. The chauffeur, he was there from the beginning. He was in the night of the long knives. He was there killing the real German nationalists. And then so it was it was all taken over by Octagon. So as everything gets infiltrated and taken over. So I'll put in the links for you. And of course he could live on comfortably until 1966. No problem. And this is the German Zepp Dietrich, the German Wikipedia, which is slightly different and has some more information. Like for instance that it says Dietrich, he was in, the, in Schweiz, which is the German name for Switzerland. While he was in Zurich, he was in a hotel school. So probably spent a couple of years there, just as Rudolf Hess and Mr. Hitler. So, well, that's an interesting fact. It always leads back to Switzerland, the motherland. So concerning the name Zepp, like in Zepp Blatter, the godfather. Well, he's another godfather, another killer. Zepp has been working for the FIFA for 40 years, since 1975, and has been its president since the last century and for almost 20 years now. Apparently he's a 33rd degree mason and a big Swiss sick pervert concerning his sexual aberrations and pervert fantasies that women must be forced to wear suspender belts and are not allowed to wear party pantyhoses anymore. And as in the land of Baphomet, Baphomet and the Sodomite Templars, these sort of things are completely normal. He became the president in 1970 of a Swiss organization in the motherland which openly tried to prescribe women what sort of garments uh, women should wear under their skirts, just as a Qatari Muslim is equally preoccupied with the ladies' guard rope covering their ladies under a ton of black clothing. So here you can see, you know, this is in Wikipedia. So Blatter was elected president of the World Society of Friends of Suspenders, 
an organization which tried to stop women replacing suspender belts with pantyhose. What a sick pervert. So he's these kind of guys are like tearing down the favelas and, and having slaves in, in, in Qatar while they're having these these sick sexual fantasies, you know. And this is so typical Swiss. Where pedophiles and all this are being protected. So this is in Wikipedia, I put it in the links for you, you can all read it yourself. It's sick, it's corrupt. Well, it says there's a lot of corruption allegations in his... Uh, so, I mean, there's there's no... There's no smoke without fire, eh? What was that? Controversies, allegations of corruption. Well, of course they're true. I don't want to speculate about what other sexual aberrations Swissy Zepp has in a country where the Swissy Parliament voted in favour of incest being okay and totally legal in Octogon of the Alps a few years back, like, come on little boy, let's play some soccer together. Probably explaining why he had to get married three times, probably engaging in domestic terror over what stockings to wear or not. So you can see this is in 2010, you know. Uh, about incest in Switzerland making it legal. Well, that, that's what the pharaohs did, didn't they? And the aristocracy. You know, like, okay, Swissy, fuck your mother and your son will be your brother, like, you know? Well, this is sick. Excuse my language, eh? I'll put in the links for you. So this could be seen on uh, the U.S. Daily Mail online. There you go. And in the year 2000, me, Sean Ross, I beat the shit out of one of those Swiss perverts, pedophiles, pedophiles called Ernst Stoller from Bern. Well, and guess who went to prison for that? Yes, me and not the child molester. There's no other country in the world where these perverts are so highly structured, protected and live in total impunity as in Octogon of the Alps. Zeb Blatter finished university in 1959 where he studied business economics. Well, and you thought football was a game, eh? No, soccer is a business of the Roman bread and games ideology of the ruling class who even get filthy rich out of it. He practiced the Swiss laws of silence of the omerta of the mafia, the Swiss mafia of Octogon. And Zeb Blatter attended the very same University of Lausanne, Switzerland, where the Prince of Darkness and co-member of the SS had studied law some years before, and he too founded a world-famous NGO only two years after Zepp left that very same university. So on September the 11th, which is an important date for the pharaohs, it's called Enkutatach, 9-11-1961, also including the digit of 9-11, the World Wildlife Fund was founded in Morges, in Switzerland, right next to Lausanne. While the Prince Founder went out shooting tigers with Prince Philip, while we thought to be financing the preservation of the animals instead of financing aristocracies hunting parties. He's in fact the person after whom Ian Fleming got inspired to create his 007 James Bond, not really fiction novels. And the Bond it is, with Ja for Yachin and Bo for Boas, the two Masonic obelisks, 
as in Ja, Jason, Bo, Born, as in James, Ja, James, Bo, Bond, and the bond confirmed by 007, where 7 is the number for the pyramid, and consequently the square and compass, as the number 3 stands for the side of the pyramid, as the 60 degree compass, or Isis, Horus, and Seth, the Holy Trinity of the Holy Spirit, the Father, and the Son, and with 4, the pyramid's base or square for the four elements together forming the seven as in 007. Just as the fair aristocratic prince of darkness liked and owned fast cars, airplanes, hunting both animals and women, skiing in Switzerland and attended charming upper class cocktail parties. One thing though, he was not really fighting for the cause of justice. With that number 007 implying that he's agent number 7 of an entire three digit army of almost 1000 men when 999 is the highest number in the three digit cate category and when turned around giving that other famous three digit of 666 or June 6th at 6 o'clock of the Horus Matrix. All those tough agents risking their lives for that old shemale or Omaha bitch called M for Mother or Maria. And being no less than Isis of course of that M sign implying the full 999 digit being one shy of the number 1000 in working secret secretly for the next stage against humanity of the thousand year Reich through the 666 Horus Matrix. And that's why I, Sean Ross, always say my name is Bond. Vagabond. And you can read about the aristocratic hunting parties which we finance through this uh, Geneva or Lausanne NGO of the World Life uh, fund. And here it is, the real James Bond here. He knew Ian Fleming and um, German SS. What's the aristocracy? I mean, the, these pharaohs are ruling anyway, you know. And to them it doesn't matter if it's SS or the MI6, or it's all the same. They're fighting us. And this is what he founded on 9-11-1961 in Morges, Switzerland, which is right near to Lausanne, where they all went to the university, Prince Bernhard of Lippe Bistafeld, Switzerland, the headquarters. It says the headquarters um, are in Switzerland. It always is Switzerland. It always is. It all turns around Switzerland. It's the base. Look, here's an article of the New York Times when he died at the age of 93. And uh, well, it says he was in the SS. And uh, he studied in Switzerland. He was even in the. Uh, he was even. Uh, he worked for IG Farben. Those were the the ones who. Uh, well, there it is. Yeah, IG Farben. He worked for IG Farm. Those were the ones who created, who made a Zyklon B, uh, Tiklon B, which is the word for a cyclone, a, a, a wind, you know, in uh, German, with the, the, uh, the stuff with which all the Jews were poisoned in the shower. Go and have a shower, you know. It was all... Uh, and it's all... It's, all it's, it's very Swiss, you know, the way it's all hidden and, and camouflaged and 
and omerta, the, the, the laws of silence. It's, it's, it's all around Switzerland. He studied in, um, yeah, it says, he studied in, in Lausanne, Switzerland, just as Zeb Blatter. And he founded his NGO, just like, like the FIFA and all the NGOs. It's all Swiss. All Swiss. The aristocracy, the Templars and Swiss. And the logo of the Swiss FIFA are two balls or circles forming the mason vesica pites together making the oval the power of organization. You see here this is the oval forming with those the vesica pites just as Gucci Mastercard and the rest. And uh, here it's forming a pentagram. So it's highly Masonic. Just as this other NGO of the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, from Octagon, also forming the Vesica Pites by its five rings of power, also headquartered in Lausanne, Switzerland, and having 33 honorary members. Here, yeah, this is the Vesica Pites, just as the FIFA, you know, forming the oval here. And it's based, it has its headquarters in Lausanne. Uh, it has 33 honorary members. And it's always Swiss. Always. Here it says. Headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland. So... Well, and here, and here, look, here's, here's the headquarters. It looked like a high security prison. Look at that. I tell you, Switzerland always has its dirty little fingers in it. And Octagon of the Alps is the very place where the world's shadow government of the Nazi Templars resides.